Hi there. Welcome to this month's Question of the Month. I've invited my colleague, Lisa Robertson, to be with me today as we discuss transformational giving. Reaching this level of giving takes work and planning, but it's so important to the future of your organization. All right, so here's today's question. How do you plan for a transformational gift? Well, the important thing is to start with a good basis, right? So you've yes. got your caseload of no more than 150. Yeah. They're qualified donors. We know their passions and interests. We have a good plan for them. And then what happens is it's good to look out a little further, right? So out 18 to 36 months and look ahead. And then think about um, what we could talk to them about. And so we're looking long-term. And in the meantime, we're not stopping asking them every year. We don't hold on and wait. But we think about during that time, what can we do to learn more about them? So are we connecting with other board members or other donors who might know them? Because even those small things we can learn about them are things we can use in, to help develop the relationship, yeah. right? Now, just right. to back up just a okay. bit, these are probably going to be in your A tier, oh, right? Oh, yes, yes. Right? These yes. are the donors in yeah. your A tier that you're focusing yes. on long term. Right. And probably only maybe three to five. I should have said that, yeah. Okay. So just to talk, you know, very top, three to five, looking long term finding out what we can about them to help develop more of the relationship. And then you're also looking internally, right? So talking to program and finance and making sure if we're gonna get this transformational gift, what's it gonna be used for? And, and then we're really trying to find creative ways with the donor to connect during that time to just deepen that relationship. And so all those things really work together to make sure we're focusing long-term and continuing to act in the short term to really kind of move them to find something that really uh, compels them to give more to the organization. Okay. so. Bottom line is, you're gonna find them in tier A. Mm -hmm. uh, you're gonna plan probably for the next 24 to 36 months. Mm -hmm. And out of that tier A, there's probably three to five of those mm -hmm. that have that capacity to give transformationally. Right. Yeah. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lisa. I hope this has helped you better understand how to plan for transformational gifts and why it's such an important thing to focus on. If you're ready to learn more about how to create meaningful relationships with your donors that lead to transformational gifts, be sure to check out our certification course for major gift fundraisers. This is a comprehensive training that will give you our best practices, tools, and resources to help you create a thriving major gifts program and connect transformationally with your donors. You can learn more about this course by visiting our website or by emailing us at academy at Thank you and take care.